Hello, welcome to Pierce Tech uh, Learning Series, and we are going to learn Grade Eleven General Science, and as per the Sri Lankan Government School Syllab. Now, in Chapter One, we are going to learn about the living tissues, and we are going to see two different living tissues over here under the microscopic wave. Now, you may have observed that plant tissues are found of different forms animal tissues are also of different forms it is observable that different cell types are present in living beings and similar cells are arranged together now the definition says a group of cells with a common origin now that has been modified to perform a specific function in the body is known as a tissue it's boring and it, the equation is so long so you didn't you need not to worry at the end of the slide after another five to six minutes you will learn what it is all about now this is the group of cells with a common origin that has been modified to perform a specific function in the body is known as a tissue let's move ahead now if you see this picture it's a picture of a root now growing part is a soft and light colored as per in the aroma and the matured part is rough and dark colored now you can see this also why is this because the nature of the tissues so the nature of the tissues cause that colors also now this is a microscopic wave of a longitudinal section of a root apex different in nature from cells you see this there are this part is a different one and this part is totally a different kind of a nature now the plant tissues can be divided into two groups according to the ability of cell divisions number one is meristematic tissues number two permanent tissues now meristematic tissue you can find in this section of aa and the permanent tissue you can find in the section of PB this is permanent tissues area and this is meristematic tissues area let's move ahead now that what this meristematic tissues do I mean what kind of a function it do these tissues in charge for growing of plants now the tissue with cells that divided acute actively by mitosis to produce new cells okay it produces new cells so this is the place where the new cells are getting produced so the growth of the plant takes place due to activity of meristematic tissues so that's true so in this region the the growth of the plant takes place due to this meristematic tissues now let's find out the features of this meristematic tissues this tissue consists of small sized living cells when we are talking about the cell spaces no intercellular space so intercellular spaces are not prominent in these kind of tissues and for the next right see there is a distinct nucleus in each cells this is what you call nucleus there will be nucleus distinct for each cell and large number of mitochondria are present there will be a lot of mitochondria there and absence of large central vacuole but small vacuoles may be present okay these are some of the features and let's see marismatic tissues are present in specific locations of the plant there are three types so marismatic tissues are present in specific location of the plant there are three types when you see a plant the plants are growing from its nodes you know that and plants are growing from its tip the top portion and it is also increasing its girth when it is growing right i mean diameter of the tree grows also so we are going to see that one here now this is a typical plant over there now this is a apical meristem these are apical meristem you find in the top of the plant that's called apical meristem tip of stems and roots you apical meristem and growth increase length at tips it happens over there now the second is intercalary meristem intercalary meristem is all about you see there is a node over there and it is dividing here over here you clearly see that this is the place you find intercalary meristem between the tip and base of stem leaves now the base of the stem leaves is joined here for the the main stem and there you can find so there the growth increase length between nodes and the last one is literal meristem here the bottom part 
the diameter will increase that is the job of the third uh, lateral meristem sides of the stem and growth you can see it's parallel to the uh, the stem and then it growth increases the diameter that is the in charge of the diameter now let's see meristematic tissues are present in specific location of the plant there are three types apical meristem what it does apical meristems are found in shoot apex root apex and axillary buds plant increases its height due to the activity of this tissue so because of this activity of this tissue it grows from the top and intercalary meristem intercalary meristems are found at nodes the length of internode increases due to the activity of about tissue they are found in plast of plants of grass family and the third one is lateral meristem lateral meristems are present laterally in the stem and roots of plant they are found parallel to the longitudinal axis of plant the diameter of the plants diameter of the plants increases due to the activity of this tissue cambium tissues found in dicots is a lateral meristem tissue let's find out from a, from this video that how the plant is growing you can see the plant is growing from the bottom and this bottom part has a lateral meristem that's the reason the girth is going on and the intercalary meristem in the nodes so that's the reason these are growing and apical meristem in the top you see it's growing 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 because of the apical meristem so the meristem guy has a, a big job to do so a group of cells with a common origin that has been modified to perform a specific function in the body is known as a tissue you found out this meristematic tissue is working for a specific function that is for the growth so that is in charge for the growth of the tree so meristematic tissues works here for that function and that is known as a tissue also let's meet in the next video